Good evening, Daniel. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? Fine, and you? I'm doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. Yeah. How was your day? Fine. It is it's very mm, tranquilo. How is this? Calm. Calm or quiet. Okay. All right. That's nice. Didn't you have to work today? Yes. Uh, yes, but then this weekend is very calm and I uh, wait uh, the next the next weekend the next week uh, sorry for the Christmas days and it's very busy. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. What do you do, Daniel? I do work in uh, Optica. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, right in the Christmas days, it's so crazy. People everywhere. And yes. It's busy, crowded. <laughs> More. Okay. And Daniel, have you been working in the platform? Mm, the, 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 this week, uh, I I now work in the platform. Uh, I hope uh, today after the class uh, working or tomorrow. Okay, good. What section are you in? Uh, section four. You're in section four. Okay, we're doing well, pretty well. Okay, thank you. Good evening, Sergio. Hey, good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Hey, I am fine. Very good. I'm glad to hear that. Hey, teacher, I have a problem. What happened? Hey, with section number four, hey, with the knowledge, knowledge check 4.6 y el último. All right. So we could check it. Let's see. A Oops. Okay, so 4.6. And what is the other one, Satya? Yeah, the last. This one, 4.13. Yes. yes. Okay, so let's see. All right, so here in 4.6, you have to write questions to, make this, to match the statements. Here you have the answers, and then you, you, have, you just have to make the questions. For example, in number one, it says, my brother is 26 years old. So the question would be, how old is your brother? Yes, okay. uh, I have a problem with number three. Number three okay, and see. number six. All right, so in number three, we got Sharon has brown hair. So we must ask what color is Sharon's hair? Ah, okay, yes, yo le puse what color is here higher. Oh, okay, what color is, is her hair? Yeah, maybe it doesn't take it. Si sí, se puede hacer esa pregunta, pero supongo que no lo han configurado de esa forma acá en la plataforma. So, just try using sí, Sharon's, que no. Sharon's here. And okay, what's the other one, Sergio? Number six. Number six, we got my sister's hair is medium length. So here we use how long. How long is your sister's hair? Ah, okay, también le puse how long is here higher. Oh, okay, just try using sisters and the other one was shards. Okay. Is that all in this exercise? Yes, just that. Sure. Okay, so let's move to 
13. And here we have to regret the sentences using modifiers with participles or prepositions. So here we got two different sentences. We must make only one using the, the particles or prepositions. Clark is yes. the tall guy. He's wearing a button down shirt and cargo pants. Then we write Clark is the tall guy wearing a button down Green. shirt and cargo pants. Just add the information to the first um, sentence. Así lo puse, teacher, pero no, no me... Really? Será por el punto, quizás. Maybe. Yeah, it could be. Ah, okay. Yeah, try again. And if you still have a problem, just let me know, please. Okay, teacher, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Good evening, Luciano. Hi, teacher. How are you? Yeah. Well, in you, teacher. I'm fine, thanks. How was your day? Uh, very, very working. Oh, okay. It was full of work. Mm -hmm. And tell me about the platform, Luciano. How are you doing with, with that? Yeah, sorry. And platform no no on advance. Oh, you have not been working it. Okay. What section are you in? Uh, finish three section. Okay. All right. Just remember that this week you must um, complete section four, okay? And yes. All right. Thanks, Luciano. Osvaldo, hello, how are you? Osvaldo Velasquez, how are you? Maybe not there. Okay, Gladys, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing pretty well, thank you. How was your day? Mm, my day has been very tight, tiring. Oh, okay. It was tiring, you had a lot of work. Uh, yes. Okay. And how are you doing with the platform, Gladys? Oh, in the medium, in the okay. in the examen, estoy in the midterm test still. Okay, just remember that this week we are completing section four, so you must work hard. Okay. Okay. All right. Thanks, Gladys. Hello, Ana Maria. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. Hi, thanks, and you? I'm pretty well, thank you. And how was your day? I tired. Tired, okay. And tell me about the platform, man. How are you doing with that? I have not uh, working in the platform. You have not, okay. Uh, Yes. No, me ha quedado tiempo, la verdad. Okay. Pero espero ya mañana tal vez poder entrar y avanzar. All right. What section are you in? Perdón. What section are you in? ¿Por qué sección va? Eh, solo terminé el meter. Oh, okay. All right. Uh -huh. So just uh, okay. remember to continue working in section four, okay? Okay. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, teacher. How are you? Uh, pretty good, and you? 
Great. I'm doing pretty well. How was your day? Uh, my day is a little busy. Okay. And did you finish with the work in the platform? Yes, I finished. You're done. Did you get your diploma? Uh, not yet. Not yet. But no. you completed the 100%. Yes, I completed okay. 100%. Okay, perfect. Congratulations, Stephanie. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, Mauricio. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, very well. Okay, that's nice. How was your day? Uh, I have a normal day. Okay. Relax. And the platform, how are you doing with that? Yes, I am working at the five level. I'm starting. Okay, you're in section five already. That's good. Yes. Great. Okay, I think we may start right now. So let me just get my presentation over here. Okay, so remember that yesterday we were talking about the vocabulary for describing personal appearance, right? So what do you remember about that? What kind of vocabulary did we study? We talked a little bit about hair. And what can we say about hair or what kind of words can we use in order to describe hair? Long brown hair. We got long brown hair. What else? Short long hair. Short blonde hair. Anything else? Curly, curly red hair. Curly red hair. Straight, but, uh, straight black hair. Straight black hair. What else? Bold. 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 Uh, a mustache and beard. Okay, a mustache and beard. All right, so that's what we have for talking about hair. First of all, we got the length, long or short. Then we got the colors. We got brown, blonde, red, black. And another thing that we could describe is the kind of hair we got, like curly or straight. We also got, we can add wavy, wavy hair. And also, Ondulado. Um, yeah, exactly. Ondulado, quebrado. Yep. And then we got curly, colocho, straight, liso. Okay. And also we have bold, which is not having hair, right? Like in the case of men that like to, to have bold um, heads. And we also have for men, mustache and beards. Now let's talk a little bit about age. What do you remember that we have for describing age? Young. 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 What else? Middle age. Middle age. And el elderly. Elderly. Okay, just remember that young is for little kids and people for, let's say, um, up to 30, 35, maybe 40. Then we got middle age, like from 40s to 50s. And after 60s, we consider um, that those people are elderly, okay? Another thing that we studied was the looks. What's the vocabulary for describing looks? 
handsome. Handsome. Pretty good looking. Good looking. And pretty. And we also got pretty, okay? And the last thing we had was the height, the height. Mm -hmm. What do we use in order to talk about height? Short. Short. Fairly short. Fairly short. Middle height. It's medium height. What else? Um, pretty tall. Pretty tall and very tall. And very tall. Okay, perfect. So now let's practice pronunciation once again. Please repeat hair. 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 Long brown hair. Long brown hair. Short blonde hair. Short blonde hair. Curly red hair. Curly red hair. Straight black hair. Bold. Bold. A mustache. A mustache. A mustache. Beard. 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 Wavy. 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 Age. 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 Young. Age. Young. Young. Middle aged. Middle aged. Middle aged. Middle aged. Elderly. 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 Looks. Look. Handsome. Handsome. Good looking. Good looking. Pretty. 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 Again. Pretty. Very well. Then we got height. 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 Short. Short. Fairly short. Fairly, Fairly short. Fairly short. Medium height. Medium height. Medium height. Pretty tall. Pretty tall. Pretty tall. Very tall. Very tall. Very tall. All right, excellent. So now that we have reviewed the vocabulary, let's ask questions, ask and answer questions about how we look. For example, tell me, Daniel, do you have a mustache? Not if I don't have. You don't, mustache. okay. All right. Franklin, are you short? Uh, you're I tall. am, uh, yes. Okay. I am tall. Un poco alto. Fairly tall or pretty tall, you could oh, say. Fairly. Okay. Oh. So now, Franklin, okay. you ask the question to one of your classmates, please. Use do you have or are you? Uh, okay. Mm. Daniel Ocampo, uh, 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 do you have <clears throat> do you have a uh, long brown hair? And no, I don't have long brown hair. I am black hair. You got black hair. Okay, Daniel. Now you ask the question to um, somebody else. Mm. Mauricio. Yes. Are you short? Not. I am uh, very tall. 
Okay, Mauricio, it's your time to ask. Okay. Uh, Stephanie Pozuelo. Are yes, tell you... me. Hola. Yes, tell me. Okay. Are you have short blonde hair? Repeat, please. Are you have short blonde hair? Use do you have, Mauricio? Ah, okay, yeah. do you have? Do you have short blonde hair? No, I have long brown hair. Very good. Stephanie, continue. Okay. Uh, Alejandra, do you have curly, curly red hair? No, I have long brown hair. Okay. Um, Franklin, do you have a mustache? Uh, no, I don't have a mustache. Okay, Franklin, continue. Um, uh, Gladys. Um, Gladys, uh, do you have a uh, short blonde hair? Um, no, no, I have. You don't, okay? Glad no, I have blonde hair. You have short blonde no, hair? No, I have. No. Oh, okay. Then you say, I don't have. Okay. No, I don't have short blonde no, hair. I don't. No, I don't have short blonde hair. Excellent, Gladys. Now you ask a question to one of your classmates. I believe Hector hasn't participated. So maybe you can ask Hector. Okay. okay. Do you have... Um, um curly red hair no i have a big gray hair okay excellent and i think everybody has participated oh no ana maria hasn't so go ahead hector and ask ana maria um <clears throat> Um, are you um, do you have a blonde hair? Brown. Blonde. Brown hair. No, blonde. Blonde hair. Blonde no, hair. I have blonde hair. My hair is brown. Brown. Okay. Very well. Natural. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we're going to practice a little bit by listening a conversation. And it's about Randy's girlfriend. So I want you to pay attention to the description that he gives about her. I want you to describe what Randy's girlfriend like. So please listen that to the conversation and just get the description. Let me get it over here. Okay, there we go. Well, she's very tall. Hello to all. Can you hear that? Yes. Yes. All right. In another person. Adjectives of appearance will be practice. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes. Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. 
How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, it's a short conversation. So what's Randy's girlfriend like? Appearance, mm. movie practice. Yeah. She She's is pretty tall. tall. Pretty tall? And what she else? has red hair. She has red hair. Anything oh else? She is very George. George. No gorgeous. gorgeous. Exactly. She's gorgeous. Did you hear her name? What's her name? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay. So let me play the conversation one more time and let's try to get the. Yeah, her name is Ashley. You're right. Okay. And now let me play it one more time. I want you to get the exact type. Okay. Okay. Yes. el micrófono, please. No se oye nada. Okay. Let me do it over here myself. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to listen one more time and I want you to get the exact height uh, of hair, okay? So how tall is Ashley? Listen again and get it. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, so how tall is she? She is six point two. Six, six point two. Okay, that is six feet two. Okay, very good. And tell me, how old is she? She doesn't say. Oh, that's right. Okay, so here I have the conversation. We are going to read it in order to practice the the. I mean, um, pronunciation. So let me ask for some volunteers to do it. Nuevamente, el micrófono, por favor. Okay, so who's reading? Do I select some people? Okay, let me ask Franklin and. Alejandra, can you read the conversation, please? Okay. Okay. We will start. Yes. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name is Ashley. And she is gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's pretty tall. How tall? About six feet. Two is I saw Paul. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She she has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She she won't tell me. Okay, thank you, Franklin and Alejandra. Now everybody, please repeat, girlfriend. 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 Gorgeous. 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 Okay, now let me ask Luciano and Andrea Araceli. Can you read the conversation, please? Okay. 
I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name is Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look, look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet to a short person. Wow, that, that is tall. What color, color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She wants tell me. Okay, thanks for reading. So please, everybody repeat. Hair. 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 Gorgeous. Hair. Hair. Gorgeous. 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 Suppose. 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 I don't know. 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 Okay, now I need Karen and Hector to read, please. Karen and Hector, can you read the conversation? No está Hector. Oh, Hector is gone. Okay, so let me ask Mauricio, can you? Yes, I do. Thank you. Okay. Start. Start. Karen? Hello? Karen? Mm, maybe she's I hear of... you have a new friend. Yes. Your name is Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, thanks for reading. Very good. Now let me just go back to the presentation. Okay, so now we're going to work in small groups. Let me send you to the breakout rooms. I want you to make a description of yourselves. So let me give you just one minute so you prepare your your description. Try to describe all your appearance. Try to include the kind of hair you have, the length of your hair, the color, also your height, how old you are, if you're young, medium, middle age, or I mean how old you are, then you can also describe your look, your height. So please just consider all the, the things you may say about yourself, your physical appearance and, and everything, okay? Just take a minute for making a description and I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms in a moment. So you share with your classmates. Is that right? Okay. All right, so prepare your description. I'm giving you one minute. So you say, for example, I have long black hair. My hair is straight and so on. Remember to also mention if you have a mustache or a beard. Sure. Tell me. Como, como diría, yo miro. You say I am 1.65 meters. Oh, okay. Or 1 meter 65 centimeters, it would be right. Yo, yo creía que el punto también se podía decir dot, pero se puede decir point. 
Um, yeah, in that case, we say point, we use that only for electronic stuff. Las cosas re relacionadas okay. a la tecnología se utilizan como dot. Por ejemplo, en una dirección de website, you say www.com, that something come, right? Or in your okay. email, we say in the email, that is hotmail.com or gmail.com and so on. Thanks. Okay. So it's been a minute. Have you finished making your description? Have you finished? Do you need more time? Guys, are you ready to go to the breakout rooms? Yes. Okay. Okay. So let me send you right now. There you go. Please share your descriptions with your classmates. Tall and I am 26 years old. I have brown eyes and my hair is straight. Uh, Who's next? Okay, my turn. My hair is black in short. Uh, I am a middle talk. Um, I am young. I am 28 years old. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Do you have a mustache? Um, no, I don't have a mustache. Okay. Hey. Um, I am 21 years old. My hair is is black, short and and straight. I guess I am fairly short. <laughs> and what else? Mm, I don't know. Um, that's all. <laughs> My okay. I have a lot estatura, pero, pero, pero tampoco, tampoco mediana estatura, no, no, no muy bajo, digamos. Uh, digamos, it, entre, entre, I entre have bajo a, y, y, I have a middle, middle height. Middle height. Medium height. Middle height. Pero, teacher, teacher. Tell Hi. Pero, pero para, para decir, digamos, eh, una estatura que está entre ni muy baja ni, ni tampoco llego a la mediana, ¿cómo, cómo se diría? Hi, oh, maybe fairly me. short. Here. ¿Cómo? Fairly short. short. Fair, fairly. Ajá. Fairly sí, short. Tenemos primero short, que sería bajo, como muy bajo. Then fairly short, uh -huh. medio bajo, un poco bajo. And then we got fairly. medium height, medium height, que sería estructura media. And then we uh -huh. got two tall ones. Sí, el que está en medio sería fairly short. Fairly, fairly short. Yep. ¿Cómo? Creo que, creo que lo puede escribir allí este. Sure, let eh, me send it in, in the link. chat. En el chat, por favor, ¿cómo se escribe fairly? Fairly. There you go. Ah, okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. 
okay i have a i have a brown long hair and a spray uh, i have a black eyes and i have a tall I am tall, you say. I am tall. Yes. And okay. also remember that when talking about the hair, we say long or short and then the color, long black hair. Sí, verdad, long, que para long decir, hair. Para decir es, color, color de piel es, es skin. Skin Como color? Skin, ajá, para decir color de piel, verdad? Yes, you can say like my skin yeah. is dark or my skin is light. My skin is brunette. Y digamos brunette skin. Como brunette. Brunette. Es estrigueño. Yes. Yes. Let me send it over. Okay. Here. Brunette, ajá, uh -huh. ok. Have you all finished with the description? Uh, yes, yes. You're done, ok. All right, so we're getting back in just a couple of seconds. Okay. You are young. Young. You ask with young. Como fue, perdón? You ask with young. Young. Yes. Uh, Luciano, you are young, middle age, or elderly? You are young. Middle age. Okay. Middle age. I am middle age. And you? Middle age. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Are you looks? I I think so. I am handsome. Creo que sería raro en un hombre look good looking. Good looking. Eh, uh -huh. Sí. Aunque okay. no aparece un hombre y mujer, ¿va? Bueno, nadie va a decir que es feo. Eh, uh -huh. Lo que pasa es que eso más que todo se ve en, en The Woman. Eh, uh -huh. eh, water, the shirt, eh, pantalones. Okay, you get the chance to practice a little bit. Let me just point out to some things. Uh, well, first of all, when talking about hair, you say, I have, and then you start by saying the length, for example, long, then the color, brown hair. I have long brown hair. Or also you could say, for example, I have, and then the kind of hair you have, for example, straight. And then the color again, let's say red. And then you add the, the word hair. 
And if you'd like to use um, all this information in the same sentence, you could say, I have long, then a comma, straight, then the color, and uh, let's say blunt, blonde hair. I have long, straight, long hair. That's the order you must follow. First, the length. Let me grade over here. So we got, first of all, the length. Then the kind of hair. And then the color. In este orden tendríamos que escribirlo. Primero, eh, largo. Is it long or is it short? Then the kind of hair, el tipo de cabello, straight, curly, wavy. Y luego el color, brown, red, blonde, black, brown. Okay, so you say, for example, I have long brown hair or I have straight red hair. I have long straight blonde hair. Then let me also tell you for talking about skin colors. We get um, light skin. Then we also get dark skin. And we got brunette. And also white skin, we could say. Okay, light, eh, piel clara, dark, piel oscura. Then brunette, que sería trigueño. And white, blanco, or piel blanca. Okay, do we have any other questions? Any other thing to add to, add to this? Tenemos alguna consultita? Not really. Okay, please repeat. Para decir, no, I teacher. Have a I have a question. Go ahead, Stephanie. Para decir, eh, digamos, el, como diría, la, la forma de nuestro cuerpo, digamos así, si somos delgados eh, no. o rellenitos, ¿verdad que es slim? Es delgado. Yes, we got slim, also we have thin, which is similar to slim. We got mm -hmm. fat, chubby. Yes. Mm -hmm. Y heavy, heavy. Heavy. Uh -huh. Eso sería más como pesado. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank All right. You. You're welcome. Any other questions? No more. Okay, please repeat. I have long brown hair. I have a long brown hair. I have long brown hair. hair. I have straight red hair. I have straight red hair. I have long straight long hair. I have, I have a long, long straight long hair. 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 Skin. 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 Light. 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 Dark. 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 Brunette. 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 White. 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 Slim. 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 Thin. 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 Fat. 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 Chubby. 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 Heavy. 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 Okay, so we're going to continue by talking about the, the questions that we may ask in order to, uh, um, to get descriptions of people, okay? So let's listen to, well, let's watch the video. Hi, in this lesson you will learn how to describe, ask and answer questions about appearance. Let's go over the audio program. Notice the questions they use to ask for the information needed. Describing people. General appearance. What does she look like? She's tall with red hair. She's gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. Age. How old is she? She's about 32. 
She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Height. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 88. She's 6 feet 2. How tall is he? He's quite short. Hair. How long is her hair? It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. It's light brown. He has brown hair. When you want to know how someone is physically, we use what look like. For age-related questions, we use how old. For height, we use how tall. The rest of the question will depend on who you're talking about. Okay, so we get some different questions that we may ask when we want to know about somebody's appearance. The first one for, for asking about the general appearance would be, what does she look like? Everybody repeat, what does she look like? What does she look like? What, what does, does she, she look like? She looks like? Okay, in that case, we're asking, como es, right? Como es ella? Or also, mm -hmm. we can change it to, what do you look like? Como es usted? What do, what do you look like? Or we can change it um, with the different subjects, right? What does he look like? What does your brother look like? What does your grandma look like? You just change the subject over here, depending on the person you are going to describe or get the description of. Then we could also ask, does he wear? Does he wear glasses? Does he wear um, jewelry? Okay, so please repeat. Does he wear glasses? Does, does he wear glasses? glasses? Okay, usa lentes? That would be the question. Does he wear glasses? Usa lentes? Then does we get. He wear glasses. Then we get some other questions for asking about age. That one goes with how old? How old is she? Repeat, please. How old is how she? Old is she? Old is she? How old is she? How old is he? How old, how, old, how old is she? Okay, and the other option would be how old are you, for instance. How old are you? You can also use different subjects like how old are your parents? How old is your son? Then we got questions to ask about height with how tall. How tall is she? Repeat, please. How tall is she? How tall is he? How tall is he? How tall is she? We could also ask, how tall are you? How tall, how tall, tall are you? Tall are you? Or we can use some other subjects like, how tall is your girlfriend? How tall is your boyfriend? How tall um, is your sister? And at last, we have some questions for asking about hair. We got how long is her hair? Repeat, please. How long, how long is her hair? hair? What color is his hair? What color, what color is, color is his, his hair? hair? Okay, so generally, we could say that we have, let's see over here. We're talking about physical appearance. We got what and look like. What does he look like? What do you look like? What does your sister look like? Then for talking about age, we got how old. How old is she? How old is he? How old are you? And for talking about height, we, we ask you seen how tall. How tall is your mother? How tall are your brothers? <laughs> Okay, so we're going to stop over here. And um, do we have any questions? Any doubt? Yeah, I had a question. Tell me. Uh, on the knowledge uh, mention, Sharon has brown hair. Yes. But, uh, I put, uh, I write what color is Sharon hair. 
that correct? Yes, that's right. Because I, I write that, but uh, it, it Mark fell. Oh, it's incorrect. Well, that's the right question, actually. Maybe it's because of any space that you left or probably the question mark at the end, maybe. Can you check uh, that? This is a, a has the, the mark of the question in the... Or maybe the, the apostrophe. Hay que tener cuidado en utilizar el apóstrofe y no la tilde, que a veces nos confundimos con eso. No sé si... Um, yeah, because that's the right question. So try again, Hector. And if you still have trouble with that, just let me know, please. Okay. All right. So have a good night, everybody. Hello. See you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Good night, teacher.